Feels like a forever ago since America launched one of its own U.S. astronauts into space. Almost a decade, in fact, since the space shuttle program ended. But this week, NASA says that's all about to change. And that has a lot of people here in Florida pretty darn excited. 10 Tampa Bay reporter Bo Zimmer explains what this week's scheduled mission is all about and why it is such a major milestone. It's launch countdown. That pad is clear. Go for launch. It looks like the scene out of a futuristic Hollywood sci-fi, but reality check. It's 2020, and America is back, ready to start launching its own astronauts into space again for the first time since the shuttle program ended nearly 10 years ago. This Apollo-era-like capsule has gotten a serious makeover, and so have the astronauts' outfits created by Hollywood superhero costume designer Jose Fernandez. And forget about the NASA Airstream. Astronauts Robert Bankin and Douglas Hurley will arrive to the launch pad in a Tesla Model X. This time we're doing it differently than we've ever done it before. NASA is working with private companies to put astronauts in space. Think of it like hiring an Uber instead of buying the whole car. The astronauts hitching a ride aboard the SpaceX Falcon 9, named for its nine Merlin engines, it travels at around 17,000 miles an hour. Then there's the Dragon spacecraft up top. Dragon, separation confirmed. It's designed to carry cargo and up to seven passengers, although it'll just be Bankin and Hurley on this flight. Just an amazing vehicle. It is definitely not the space shuttle. It's much smaller, but it's a capsule. It's state-of-the-art from uh, a technology standpoint, and we are... Uh, so excited to be in a real spaceship and not the simulator. The two will be testing out key safety features and making sure they can manually dock with the space station. It's everything from a response to a fire on board uh, to uh, flying close to the uh, International Space Station manually instead of letting the computer do it. The crew will spend between one and four months docked at the International Space Station before returning home, splashing down in the Atlantic off the coast of Florida.